time for you people to grow up. Grow up be an adult, work with your hands instead of wasting your life in vanity chasing after the wind. Work a full-time job. Meaningless, meaningless, meaningless. You play video games all your life. You pass all the levels. In the end, it's meaningless. In the end, it doesn't profit you anything. In the end, it's not going to profit you anything. What good is it to pass that video game and forfeit your soul? Oh, wicked, perversion, perverted, 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 perverted people out here. What happened to you? You've lost your mind. You're insane. You're abnormal. Your way of thinking is not right. Your way of thinking is not right. You've been perverted. You've been corrupted. You've been defiled by sin. Oh, pornography will damage your soul. All oh, these wicked, immoral, sexual lifestyles will damage your soul and send you to hell. Bunch of you people hooking up while you play your live video games. Bunch of you people shacking up while you're live on Xbox. God is watching. God is taking account. You're going to have to give an account on the day of judgment. It's not going to be a joke. It's not going to be a laughing matter on the day of judgment. You don't impress anybody with your stupid costumes. You're not impressing anybody with your wicked, stupid costumes. It's time for you people to get a life. It's time for you people to grow up and no longer live in your mother's basement. It's time for you people to worship Jesus and obey Jesus. He's the real superhero. You want to talk about superheroes? You want to talk about villains are on their way to hell. Villains are going to burn in hell. That villain Satan is going to burn in hell. Along with all the demons. And you're going to go there too following that wicked villain Satan. Following that wicked villain, the evil one. It's time for you people to idolize the true superhero, Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth. He's the true superhero. He defeated sin. He defeated death. He defeated Satan on the cross. But you have no interest in the true superhero, in the ultimate superhero, Jesus Christ. Oh, how wicked of you, how perverted of you. I'm here in hell. Ignoring God, this is in hell, you stupid sinner. Just Google map where you're at. This is downtown LA. This is in hell. This is downtown LA. You sinners need to get right with God. It's time to acknowledge what you are. You're a sinner. You're a sinner who has offended God, who has displeased God. You've ignored God with your life. You idolize video games above God. You love entertainment more than God. You love your laziness more than God. You rather remain as a child instead of growing up. And your parents should have never gave you that video game. Your parents should have never bought you that Xbox. Your parents should have never bought you that PlayStation. That PlayStation ruined your life. It made you a sluggard. It made you lazy. It made you ignore God. You've wasted your life, you've wasted your time, you've wasted your energy in vanity, in wickedness, in nothing. It's time to idolize the true superhero, Jesus Christ. It's time to follow in the footsteps of the true superhero, Jesus Christ. The one who created the world, the one who died on the cross for your sins, the one who defeated death. What's wrong with you people idolizing Superman and Batman above Jesus? Batman and Superman have nothing on Jesus. Batman and Spider-Man and all these...
these wicked Marvel characters have nothing on Jesus. They're going to be burning in hell. Spider-Man burning in hell. Batman burning in hell. The Joker's going to have a special place in hell. Weeping and gnashing of teeth in hell. That's why the generation is the way it is, because of wicked people like the Joker. Wicked people like the Joker deprave your children. And then you parents want to bring your children to these wicked events where they pick up this wicked influence. Oh, and they want to be rebellious. They want to deny authority. And no wonder your children don't listen to you when they grow up. No longer your children don't obey you anymore when they grow up. They become rebellious. It's because of this wicked and rebellious generation that we live in today. Wicked and rebellious generation. Oh, nowadays, instead of having Jesus as a role model, as the one you worship, you worship the Joker. Oh, what a joke that is. A demented villain, an illusional villain. A sick, perverted villain. Oh, it's time for you people to get right with God and come to your senses. What is it going to take for you people to snap out of it? You're being hypnotized by these video games. You're being hypnotized by these wicked, imaginary, fictional superheroes. Oh, you idolize Mario Brothers. You give more praise and worship to the creator of Mario Brothers than you do to Jesus. You've lost your mind. You've lost your mind. No laughing in hell, sinner. You're not going to be laughing in hell, sinner. You need Jesus to set you straight. You need Jesus to give you a, a right sense of humor. Oh, you people have everything twisted. Oh, you people have everything upside down. You laugh at what is righteous. You condemn the righteous. You justify the wicked. You side with the vanity of the world, with the temporary illusions that the world gives you. It's time for you people to get right with Jesus. You have no shame. You're wicked to the core. You're wicked from your inner being, from your most inner being. You need a makeover. You need to be transformed by the Holy Spirit. Many of you people are not afraid to hide it. You people fly your wickedness. You people fly your sin. You dress up as the character you want to be like. And God, it's good that we have laws. Otherwise, you'd end up You'd end up murdering people like Michael Myers. If we didn't have cops, if we didn't have police and the laws, you'd end up fulfilling those wicked desires in your heart. I know you want to be like Michael Myers. I know you follow that wicked, perverted, sick, demented Michael Myers. He's on his way to hell. He's burning in hell. He's imaginary. You're living a lie, buddy. You need to grow up. You need to, you need to actually uh, get a job and and uh, get your own apartment instead of living in your mother's basement. Bunch of you people, you need to grow up. You need to shut up, buddy. You need to listen to the word of God. You need to shut up for, for, for a while and listen to the word of God. There's a time to be quiet and listen to the word of God. And there's a time to talk. If there's nothing good coming out of your mouth, I suggest you stay quiet. I suggest you open the Bible. I suggest you read it and you obey what it says. The Bible is the word of God, which can give you life, which can give you peace. Oh, but you ignore the Bible. You rather read these wicked fictional comic stories. They're not going to give you any real peace. They're not going to give you any real satisfaction. That mask is not going to save you from hell. Playing video games doesn't take away the fact that there's a pandemic. Playing video games doesn't take away the fact that there's a hell awaiting the wicked. Just because you play video games and you try to numb your problems, you 
you're trying to solve your problems doesn't take away the fact that your problems are still there. You're still a criminal in the eyes of God. You've still committed an offense in the eyes of God. And only the blood of Jesus can cleanse you from all sin. So these video games cannot really heal your wounds. These video games cannot really heal your scars. I know you're scarred. I know people have hurt you in your life. I know things haven't gone the way you desire. But video games is not the solution. Video games is not the answer. Batman is the is not the real uh, superhero. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is the real superhero. It's time for you people to get right with Jesus. It's time for you people to stop ignoring the word of God which can give you life. It's time for you people to stop being illusional. A lot of you people have been deceived by the Marvel movies. You've been deceived by the video games. You're lost. You're not in your right mind. You, you, you. This is the real world, buddy. In the real world, there's a heaven and there's a hell. In the real world, there's a Jesus that created you, but you love living in a fictional world. You love living in an imaginary world. I know your life has problems. I know this world has issues. I know there's sin in this world, but these video games are not the answer. These video games is not the solution. It's time for you people to actually seek God. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Read the Bible, Los Angeles. Read the Bible. We have come to the right place. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Look at these people. You're lost. Your people are lost. You're on the way to hell. Unless you repent and make men with the Holy God, Los Angeles. There is a criteria, Spider-Man, that you must meet to go to heaven. You must stop being a clown. You must believe in Jesus Christ. You think you're cute in that little outfit, don't you? Halloween was in October. Halloween was in October. Nevertheless, Halloween is also a satanic celebration. El Soro, are you supposed to be a Soro? Are you supposed to be a Soro there in the red, uh, red uh, outfit? And what are you supposed to be with the red hair? What are you supposed to be with that outfit? Stop being me. Oh, this is love, buddy. This is love. You better come this as an act of love for us to come and tell you that Jesus Christ died and rose again for your sins. But that doesn't give you a license to continue to live like a lesbian. That doesn't give you a license to continue to live like a whore. That doesn't give you a license to be a drunkard, liar, thief, pedophile. You're telling me Seth Jesus Christ don't And what are you? I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? Yeah. What kind of a Christian? I'm a born-again Christian. You're a born-again Christian? Are you a born-again Show me some ID. Isaiah 53. Show me some ID. You wouldn't be living like so a tell them, so tell you wouldn't be heaven. living like a clown if you were a real Christian. How are they gonna go to heaven if you don't You're a fake Christian. Let me have that mic. I'll you're an Oprah you Winfrey you Christian. Maybe you're a You're an Oprah Winfrey Christian. What's up, Captain? Shame on you. you if this is what a Christian, Christian does on a Saturday, if this is what a Christian does on a Saturday, Jesus, 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 Jesus. you're lost, people. Don't be a lesbian. Calm down, calm down. This is Los Angeles. Calm down. 
Calm down. Preach the grace too. That's all I'm saying. No, you can preach about sin, but they preach about grace. Oh, you better believe that. That's all I'm saying. What brings you here today? What brings you? The Bible says be separated. The Bible says be, be separated from that. The Bible says be separated. Be separated from them. Be separated from them. I'm representing America. You're representing America, America, the one that's killed 60 million babies by abortion. You're representing America. Shame on you. You're probably a Joe Osteen follower. You're probably a Joe Osteen follower. Hypocrite. That's what we're doing here today. We are eating with lesbians. We are preaching to homos. We are doing the same thing here. Engaging with these homos. We are here because we love our neighbor. We love our neighbor. Those churches sitting in the pews don't love our neighbor. Shame on you. Romans 3 says the law the law does not save us. The law does not save us. Come out from among them. Don't be a part of them. Don't be a part of them. Lesbians? Any lesbians here today? Any homos here today? I got good news for you. Jesus Christ can make you a real man. Jesus Christ can make you a real woman. He said, being salt and light in the world. I'm going in the world to get a Are you doing that? No, no, I'm not. By being like them? By being. By being like them, you guys are wrong. by being like them, you're wrong. Brother, I'm so mad. You're wrong. You better come out from among them. You're not no prophet. You're not a child of the devil. Child of the devil on the way to hell. Forgive me for what? Forgive me for what? I'm an anointed man of God. That oh, you're anointed? Is the Holy Spirit talking to you? You're anointed? This is anointing? Look me in the eyes and tell me I'm not anointed. Dear child of the devil, okay, engage in the things of the world. The Bible says, love not the things of the world. Love not the things, love not the things of the world. But you gotta be saved first. That's the condition of the church. This is the condition of the church right here. By faith first. Look what you gotta be saved Christians on the way to hell. No, no, no. You're not Jesus. 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 You're not
And you're not, you know, you're not embarrassed by it? Never! No? You're proud of being a hoochie mama? Yeah, hoochie mama! What does your mother think about you being a hoochie? She loves it! She, she loves, loves it? Too. Oh, not God, not on Judgment Day. Yeah, Judgment no, Day! No, 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 don't be one, don't be a hoochie mama. I'm a hoochie mama! Be a Christian! Cover up! Dress like a lady! Talk like a lady! Live like a lady! Hell no! Fuck that! Sorry. Yeah, hoochie mama! Don't be sorry to me, sinner, little devil. You're the one that's gonna burn in hell. Woo! You, you little Satanist, you're the one that's gonna pay. Don't be sorry to me. The holy God is watching you. My holy God the Father is watching every single one of you. Hot dogs, hot dogs, anybody hot dogs? We got hot dogs, we got the... You guys better eat the word of God! You guys better uh, get a good serving of the word of God! While there is time, while there is life! Time is short, people! Time to stop goofing around, people.